Hello and welcome down to the channel. I'm Alex, I'm a PJ Gold professional and welcome to today's video. Hope you're having a good day. First off, I wanna say probably three quarters, no, maybe a little bit more than three quarters of the golfing population are doing this all wrong. This is an absolutely cracking question. You know what, and I can't wait to make a massive impact on you and your golf game. Now, today's question comes from Dylan. Dylan, brilliant mate, this is class. Um, Alex, another great drill. I got one for you. I normally have about 30 minutes to warm up before I play. What would you suggest if we only had 10 minutes before our tea time? Thanks and go Tiger, 100% go Tiger. Okay guys, so you know, if you've been here before, this channel is powered by the viewers. If you are new, welcome down to the channel. Don't forget, all these videos are here because of you. You ask the questions, I create the videos to help you improve. Right, don't need this on. This is how I'd use those 10 minutes to play better golf. Contrary to sort of many people's thoughts, I want you to start with putting. Isn't it strange, like most of us would start our warm up by hitting some shots um, and then come in to finish on putting and then going off to the first tee. First thing I'm gonna say to you is, what's the first thing you do on the first? Nine times out of 10, probably hit driver. Get down in the comments though, if your golf course is maybe a little bit different and you hit an iron off the first tee. But what I'm trying to say here is, the first shot we hit off the first isn't a putt. It's definitely a long game shot. But I want you to start with this. This is your new routine. Your first few putts, and maybe just hit sort of five or 10 putts with this, is you get two golf balls and you hit them into space. You test it on different slopes. And what you're aiming to do is play a game of balls, really. Have one golf ball where you just hit it into that space. So I'm gonna use that yellow one. The next golf ball, I'm trying to get it just to touch that ball and just to kiss it or get it as close as I can. Hopefully a better version of what I've just done there. And essentially, what you're training here is your pace control. What's the ball doing on different slopes? So go uphill, go downhill, go across the slopes. And all you're trying to do is get those golf balls just to touch without any real consequence of setting any premeditation of my putting's bad today. You're training your pace control. I would then just go around the hole from, you know, that sort of awkward distance of two or three footers, the length of putts you know you should make, and just hit them four putts, so opposite ends. So three footer, three footer, three footer, three footer. Get used to seeing that ball go in the hole. You've trained your pace, you've now hold those must make putts. Next up, I'd do this. I would then grab my seven iron and one of my lofted wedges, like my sand wedge, and just hit a few chips, getting used to seeing the sort of the two chip shots that we need really. One being the chip and run, getting it rolling all the way down towards that flag. And don't forget if you can and you got time in those 10 minutes, depending on how far, get in the hole, get in the hole, depending on how far your putting, your chipping area is from each other, will depend on how much time you can spend on here. So maybe if it's two, three, four chip and runs, and then maybe, two, three or four more lofted ones. So you're getting used to feeling the club on the ball in a few different scenarios. We don't need to do many of them. Just about preparing you for getting out on the course. Right, the final bit to this is coming up right now. Now, this next part will very much depend on your golf club, but what I'm gonna say is for everybody, well, most of us have nets at our golf course, right? If you have a range, brilliant. This is how I'd do it. We're gonna go and hit a few irons and then a few drives because that's the first thing you're gonna do when you go out on the golf course. I forgot to mention this. I don't know why I didn't mention it at the start. This is the exact routine a couple of the players that I caddied for on the European Tour used. Yes, you heard me right. You can do it too. Now, this next bit is very much dependent on the facilities at your golf course, but most of us have driving range nets, right? Have nets to hit into. So use this routine. Let's go. What a day, by the way. You're gonna play so much better golf once you've tried this. So now you've got to your driving range, if you have it. I think probably nets is definitely easier. Set a couple of wedges, a couple of seven irons, and then finish off just a couple of drives. Again, all you're trying to do is loosen your body up. It's a warm up, not a practice. And one thing that I would say is as I'm doing this, I'm just trying to get a feeling of what swing thoughts from my lesson, from videos I might have watched on YouTube, are really sticking with me. 
today. All right, a couple of wedges, a couple of seven irons. And if you don't hit it great, don't worry, how many times have you probably played around where you've done a bad warm up, hit it terribly on the range, or had a bad range session before even playing, and then you've gone and shot a half decent score? So don't let this turn into a practice session, it's a warm up, right? Okay, a couple of drives to finish. So now you've followed those steps, you are literally ready to actually go to the first tee and hit away. And if you play better golf, that's what this is all about, right? And let me rephrase, let me rephrase that. It's about beating your mates. It's about being and having the bragging rights at the end of the round where you can go, you know what, I've won. So you're ready, you're warmed up, try that little routine and do. Let me know if you use it and you shoot a better score that day. Thanks for watching.